I was look, always looking for equipment on Craigslist. And I spotted the ad on Craigslist looking for different things. I got there and the woman was waiting for me and she opened up the door and boom, there it was. It was a storefront full of these archives in these boxes and there had to be at least 3,000 boxes. At one point in time, we had over 30,000 newspaper sections in the tubes. This is the state of the archive. It's incredibly well preserved for what it is. It's remarkable. Um, it's ready to be scanned. The microfilm itself has destroyed our understanding of like what the newspapers are. The amount of artistic capability and prowess that went into you know, this process of making newspapers back in this time, I think, is lost on people. When you look at some of these titles on some of these newspapers, like those were hand illustrated. The goal would be to design a user interface that enhances the ability of what can be done with, an, with a historic archive. And the experience for the user will be they are gonna be able to read it better on their phone or their device. I'm thinking more about like where we're headed for high school kids right now. What are they gonna want? What are the tools that they're gonna want to look at a historic archive and to understand it? Because why wouldn't we be building for the ultimate potential use? If we don't have better access to the past, then how are we gonna move forward in the future in better, more productive ways? And I think that that's what really, for me, that's what this is really about.